Hi guys, I'm back with a clear result of month number 7, pick a plushie and what I did is make it interactive, kind of. Um, but I'm starting with the coloring so I can tell you um, a few disclaimers <laughs> that you've heard before. But if you just join us, I bought all these stamp sets myself with my own money. I'm not sponsored, nor was I asked to do this, but I have so many. I wanted to showcase them all in a row. So I made a playlist as well. In case you join us at the end of the month, you can look them all up. So I'm coloring with all <laughs> the markers I have actually. Spectrum Noir, Copic and Graphite markers. And I did the rest off screen, but I colored them all the same. I just forgot to do the little eyes here. And I almost went for a rainbow family of carrots but I thought that was a bit too much um, I used to grow my own vegetables and I had white and yellow and orange and red and purple and black carrots such fun no blue and green though but yeah well unless you leave them out in the sun but that's a different story so I think this is a turnip I'm not exactly sure if that's the name in English but uh, Magno, <laughs> we call them like a rape. I think that's a nice word, but yeah. Um, <laughs> the sentiment, so, uh, by the way, is from a different set, but this set is called Pick Plushy, and I only use the ones that grow under the ground because then you can pick them. You will see. And then the sentiment is Pick a Plush Sentiment, and that's a different one in there. I could have used I'd pick you every time. But I went for, I'm rooting for you, because the root vegetables. <laughs> it made sense in my head. I'm measuring them, so I know how big to make my little, well, rows. And um, I, I cut them with Mariana Design Creatable, which is LRO664. Um, but you can use the um, scissors that I'll show you. In a minute and you can also tear it so I stamped five on one piece of paper and I had this gonna cut them out but I need the room in between so I wasn't sure if I could fit five maybe four but I wanted five <laughs> but yeah first I am starting my background and I'm yeah I'm erasing this and then it turns out I kind of moved I think because all of a sudden there's uh, my mission doesn't fit behind it. I'm using three colors of these dressings. Squeeze lemonade, carved pumpkin, which I start with, and mustard seed in between. Kind of a ombre fade away sun. And otherwise I leave it white, but you could add you know, birds if you want, or um, if you have a, like a sign that says pick your own, I don't have it, but at least as far as I know, but <laughs> I didn't check, I'm just thinking about that now, because it's not very clear that you can take the veggies out, unless you write that on the inside, or they fall out in the envelope during mailing it. See in here is where I realize that my son is sticking above the ground. Doom on the world. Uh, yeah, the first layer I'm just mounting it flush. And this paper is a little bit bigger, so I just trim off the excess for all three levels. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. And they're actually meant to be waves or beachy dunes but um well, I don't care and uh, yeah I tried this uh, I felt it was yeah <laughs> too neat and you can tear it but uh, yeah that might be hard to get it the exact size that you want so now I put my carrots in the back because I thought they're longer they need to have more room but their little green bits are smaller 
And so they, uh, it turns out you don't see them. I didn't think about it. So if you like this card and you thought you might want to do it, do it the other way around. Too late for me, but save yourselves. <laughs> okay, I marked where the tips of the carrots end and also the spaces in between. So I have a rough guide of um, the openings that I need to make. And I do slip in some extra bits so they stick out at different levels or different heights from the cart or the, the ground actually. You know, they grow faster. In real life, one is more eager than the other. One germinates, you know, you know how that goes. If you ever grow <laughs> your own stuff or you ever grown your stuff, you know this. But first I'm making all the little cubbies. They didn't have much room, I wanted to be sure they fit. And then I'm taking my pencil, or sorry, it's, it's a bit late. <laughs> my brush to de-stick the tape. And if you want to know how late, it's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah. I felt like making it, so I did. I should be in bed, but who cares? And uh, this is the same border actually, but I turned the paper around. So the, the hilly bits are on the other side. And this is a bit fiddly. I only show you this layer because <laughs> for the, the turnips it's the same. But yeah, I just make an extra stopper so they, they you know they can't go deeper i thought that's nice now first i need to measure it and this was a bit more tricky to get f five in a row but i managed <laughs> and here again this is how long they are or deep and then the width you know they don't have to be equally spaced it turns out they really are in front of each other <laughs> and i thought these were wider so yeah there you go <laughs> yeah. okay this is the turnip layer which i'm also getting rid of all the double-sided tape and then for the sentiment, as I said, I use Pick a Plushy Sentiment Set. And I'm stamping it in black because I thought it would show. I, I tested it before I recorded it. Um, because it's midnight by the time I'm doing this. But I don't want to heat set anymore. And it's fine. You can see it. You know, I'm okay with it. And I'm also stamping it before I mount it on all that layers of foam tape and cubbies and irregularities is that a good word yeah and then there i still have to trim the bits and then i stick all my turnips and carrots it's kind of fun and if you turn the card upside down they, they fall <laughs> inside the little baggie so i think yeah i will write something on the inside if i send it but it's fun and you see here so I try to change them around but because I made the cubbies to fit these ones it won't fit the longer ones so yeah there you go see I'd pick you every time would be nice I'm rooting for you is maybe nicer in my opinion but thank you for watching I hope to see you again soon and until then <laughs> bye